Hello, I'm Brian Foster, and I'm talking about Spiritism. Spiritism was brought to us in the 1850s by Allan Kardec. He was a participant as people sat around tables with some mediums at the, at the head of the table, and they communicated with the spirits. He was not very convinced. He thought this was all just a trick. But then things got serious. And he became very interested in this. The things happened he could not understand. So he wrote a series of 1,019 questions. And what he did was very organized. He asked those questions of different mediums of different geographical areas throughout Europe and did not write those down or use those in his book, The Spirits Book, until the answers were the same or similar. Therefore, none of the mediums knew of each other or knew of the questions that each other had, even though they were similar. So the Spirit's book is the third revelation, the first revelation being Moses, the second being Jesus Christ coming to earth, the New Testament. And now the third revelation, as promised by Jesus Christ in the New Testament, I will send you a consoler, which will give you more information, was codified by Alan Kardec from the set of spirits talking to different mediums organized by the spirit of truth so today i want to talk about controlling your mind is the most difficult task in the world now why why do i say why is it important that you control your mind let me give you some background of what spiritism tells us about on earth we live in an objective world meaning if you just keep your mouth shut, no one knows what you are thinking. And a wall is a wall. Your head is solid. And if you think that you want something different, it doesn't make a difference, does it? It still is, is what it is. But this is a temporary simulation that we are in. This is meant for us to keep everything solid so we can go through these pre-planned trials and tribulations to change our character and our personality for the better, to rip out primitive emotions and replace those with advanced emotions of love, charity, fraternity. Therefore, we are here to actually change our personality and character and control our mind. Why is it important to control your mind? In the spirit world, you live in a subjective environment, meaning what you think you can create. You Thought is action, isn't it? Think about that, what I said. Thought is action. Spirits can come together and create a temple, a church, a mansion. They can create mountains and rivers and lakes. You create, you decide what you want to wear. You decide what you look like. You are immortal. You, you never age, you're never sick. Imagine the power of that and imagine what would the spirit world do if we had a lot of us here with our primitive emotions? Would they let us run loose throughout the spirit universe? No, we are contained along, inside these bounds of earth until we mature enough to learn how to control our mind and become better people. This is why it's so important to learn from your trials on earth. But this wisdom even came from other people the, as far as controlling your mind even before Spiritism was codified in 1850s. Now, I'm probably not pronouncing this right, but Thayamanavar, who was a Tamil spiritual philosopher from Tamil Nadu, India. Thayamanavar articulated the Saiva Siddhanta philosophy, and he wrote several Tamil hymns, of which 1,454 are available. Now, he lived during a period, he was born in 1705 and died in 1744. And his first four songs were sung 250 years ago at the Congress of Religion in, now I'm pronouncing this wrong again, Tirashuapali. His poems follow his own mystical experience, but they also outline the philosophy of South Indian Hinduism and the Tiramandiram by St. Tiramalular in its highest form one that is at once devotional and non-dual, one that sees God as both imminent and transcendent. His key teaching is to discipline the mind, something that Spiritism also says. 
control desires, and meditate peacefully. He went on to say, It is easier to control an elephant, catch hold of a tiger's tail, grab the snake and dance, and dictate the angels, transmigrate into another body, walk on water, or sit on the sea. But it is more difficult to control the mind and remain quiet. Now, that is part of his poem, but I'll read the whole poem. This is what he said. You can control a mad elephant. You can shut the mouth of the bear and the tiger. You can ride a lion. You can play with the cobra. By alchemy, you can eke out your livelihood. You can wander through the universe incognito. You can make vassals of the gods. You can be ever youthful. You can walk on water and live in fire. But control of the mind is better and more difficult. He arrived more than 300 years ago, or around 300 years ago, at what Spiritism said 150 years ago, is we are on earth to control our mind. And actually it's more than control. It's to rewire your personality and your character, to get rid of your urge to denigrate people, to have malicious gossip, to take advantage of others for your own benefit. And believe me, I know I've done that in the past. I've been told that in medium meetings that I have taken advantage. I have stolen money. I have uh, ignored my duty. I have not been a good person. I have wanted what I wanted. I wanted my luxury and I got it any way I could. But now I understand that it was not the right path. And it's not the right path for any of us. Because what is awaiting for us is a wonderful life in heaven where we can control with our mind and create whatever we wish to and live in an atmosphere of love, of just immense warmth, where it's, it's, you know, it's almost impossible to, to um, speak words about, to adequately describe, just a complete feeling of, of fulfillment and love and ecstasy. This is all worth it. This is worth the effort. And if you believe it is worth the effort, I hope you can study Spiritism. In my book, The Spirit Realm, Spiritism has revealed the reality of our existence. will help you understand the spirit universe, the physical universe, who you are as a spirit and as a physical body, where you are going, and how you can ascend. And then lastly, what is the future? for you and the earth. God bless.